Sure. Um, yeah. Couldn't be helped. As a sequel slash remake to 2017's Serial Cleaner, Serial Cleaners, plural, is quite the step up in both visuals and gameplay. The simple sprite work of Curve Digital's original is replaced with detailed environments and much more complex level design, and the result is a clever, entertaining, yet infuriatingly paced stealth game. Taking the form of a series of flashbacks and set pieces throughout the 70s, 80s and the game's present day 90s setting, Serial Cleaners follows the fortunes of a group of crime scene cleaners led by Bob, the Winston Wolf-like protagonist of the first game. Working with Psycho Hal, Hacker Erin and young protege Lottie, Bob recounts his most famous cleanups and asks the team to recount theirs, including his recruitment of each of them. All missions have the same basic setup. A crime has happened, there's blood, bodies and evidence all over the place and you need to clean it up. In almost every instance you'll need to do it while avoiding police, investigating detectives, security guards, other criminals or nosy passers-by, or sometimes all of them. You can't choose which cleaner you take on which mission as the entire game is narrative-based and they work individually, although you can sometimes call in help which gives you another way out or another trunk to dispose of bodies and severed limbs. Each cleaner is different though, how the psycho can chop up bodies with a chainsaw and then throw the limbs at NPCs to knock them out, they'll also pass out if they catch them in the process of bloody dismemberment. Then you can stick them in lockers or cubicles to keep them out of the way, however, there's never enough space to dispose of all of them. Erin is a hacker who can use her skills to remotely manipulate switches and noise sources and can crawl through ventilation systems. Lati can vault over low barriers and leave graffiti on the floor that distracts police and main guy Bob can wrap up bodies to avoid public suspicion. While the stealth is mostly well handled, Serial Cleaners is an incredibly gamey game. Blood is cleaned up using a vacuum cleaner which each protagonist pulls out of thin air and which can even hoover blood from snow. Also, you can drop bodies wherever and as long as you aren't seen, the NPCs will barely spare a moment's thought for how corpses are moving around by themselves. Likewise, knock someone down or activate distractions and they'll only look for you for a little while before shrugging and carrying on. You can even commit your crimes of cleanliness in plain view of anyone as long as you're outside the designated range of vision, and the difference between a cop hearing a vacuum blaring can be as little as one extra step to the right. Concessions have to be made for stealth games of course, but Serial Cleaners pushes its luck where immersion and realism are concerned. It's something of a shame that missions are so A to B. While you can experiment with distraction techniques and such, there aren't many different ways to approach each problem. In all cases, the idea is to take bodies, big evidence and severed limbs to a disposal point, hoover up a certain amount of blood and then leave. The difficulty comes in identifying a route to disposal and learning the various guard patrols. Once you have that information down, missions devolve into a bit of repetition as you slept to and fro often very slowly to get rid of everything. In fact, the pacing can be incredibly off-putting. If you're spotted and can't escape quick enough, you'll restart at the checkpoint, usually the last time you dispose of something, and then it's back to waiting for patrols to align with your plans, which mostly involves sitting very still and watching. Using the left trigger will activate your cleaner sense, because of course it does, which allows you to see important elements on the map and the various guards. This allows a certain amount of forward planning, but it's super easy and super frustrating to run into a third guard you hadn't spotted because you were busy watching two others. You also can't see up or down stairs, so you're always at risk of walking into something when changing levels. Narrative plays a big part in Serial Cleaners. Each of your characters has a backstory to explore, some much bleaker than others, which slowly begin to paint a darkening picture of this life of crime. The writing and delivery are solid, and once you begin to understand some of the cleaners' motivations, it's easy to get quite invested. It's a good thing too, because without it, there'd be little reason to care about any of the cleaners at all. What Serial Cleaners lacks is a sense of urgency. While laid-back stealth is a subgenre of its own, it would be nice to be able to incapacitate guards with characters other than Hal, even if only for a limited time. Even when the police are looking for you, the music never shifts from lazy lounge jazz, and so there's little sense of escalation or excitement. It's tense at times, of course, but the AI is so dumb you're usually comfortably sure you'll escape anyway, and that just makes some part of the game feel tedious. As a straight old school stealth experience though, Serial Cleaners certainly delivers. There's very little fluff or filler with compact mission areas, clear objectives and little reason to deviate from the plan. 
but it also suffers from a lack of real variety and is rarely exciting or tense enough to be called thrilling. Failure is often punished by nothing more than waiting around, which eventually becomes dull. But it is well written, good looking, and the atmosphere is on point even when the immersion is taken a knock. If you're after something a little more cerebral and don't mind getting your hands dirty, Serial Cleaners is an enjoyable, if limited, stealth adventure. And for that reason, I'm going to score it a 7.5 out of 10. Hi there, hope you enjoyed that review of Serial Cleaners from Draw Distance and 505 Games. It's coming out on PC, PlayStation 4 and 5, Switch and Xbox One and Series S and X very soon. If you like the review, please hit like and subscribe. Maybe tag that bell icon too so you're kept up to date with everything we post going forward. And if you want to support us via Patreon, we appreciate everything that you guys do for us. In the meantime, I've been Mick Fraser for God is a Geek. That was a review of Serial Cleaners and you guys have been lovely. Bye.